All right, everyone. Deer season's winding down and we're starting to set some traps. Uh, we're on a road that we travel back and forth to our farm that we deer hunt on. And we've noticed driving by that there's a beaver in here chewing down different trees and we've kept an eye on it. And it keeps building this dam bigger and bigger. And so we're gonna come down here and, and set a trap. Um, I will show you all how, how we do it. And I really don't think it's gonna take too long to trap him, but uh, it's just simple as that. We were just driving down the road, spotted this, this uh, beaver um, sign here in the ditch. And so we're gonna sneak in here and uh, set some traps down here. It ought to be a good time. Beaver are fun to trap. So we're gonna show you all how we set it. We're probably gonna set some cotton bears down here. We'll show you his dam and where he's been working. So um, we're gonna go down and, and get some set. slippery getting in here we had a lot of rain the other day as you can see this creek really uh, doesn't usually hold much water it's more of just a drainage ditch uh, runs water to the main creeks over here and it actually holds pretty good water I guess this beavers coming in off the main creek and he's deciding uh, he's gonna build him build him a place to stay and I've been keeping an eye on this dam he's actually got it blocked up a lot more than the last time I was here and so I finally decided I better get in here and uh, set some traps for him. But you can see all the work that he's done and how blocked off he's got it and how, uh, how much water he's holding back. So he's been busy, but he's uh, got a couple more dams actually uh, up this ditch too. But he's, he's definitely been in here. So we finally, finally got some clear weather coming. It's not gonna rain for a little while. So we're gonna, we're gonna get some traps set. Uh, this is a perfect, perfect spot. And why we picked this spot is, uh, we we did some scouting up above the dam, and obviously it's holding a lot more water. There's a couple, there's a run in there, there's a ditch where he where he's running, but it, it's pretty deep, and so it would take a little, uh, take a little time to to make a set in there. And this set is gonna be just as good, if not better. We got. Um, we got a channel here where he's coming up and he's getting to his dam and it's like a pinch point for deer hunting. There, there's only one, one spot he can travel here with these roots coming out either side. There's a, there's a clear channel down here and uh, we're going to tuck this, tuck this 280 in here, caught a bear and it's going to be a, it's going to be just fine set. I feel like it's not going to take too long as much as he's been working in here. So. It ought to be good. All right, for anyone who doesn't know, this is a Conner Bear. Um, this is a, I want to say a Bridger 280. Um, used to set this tool right here. Um, there's other ways to set them. Uh, I, we can show you later, but this is the best way and the most effective with this tool. Clamp on there, squeeze them together, take the safety, put it on there, and that's one side that's set. So we'll go ahead, set this other side. So now we got our safeties on, but the trap is not set quite yet. You're gonna fold these over. Watch the safeties, make sure they don't come off because if they come off, the trap will go off or could go off. We're gonna bring those up. This trigger goes between this one. And the different, it has different grooves in this trigger here. And that's for how deep of a catch you're looking to, looking to get on uh, a particular animal. If you want them to get farther in, not as far. So there it is, 
completely set. So it should fit just perfect down in this channel here. I run big T-bar stakes. We welded these up ourselves. The reason I run them this big is because I have had I have had creeks whenever you're trapping in water, eventually it will flood. I try to always watch the weather and pull them out before, but I have lost some traps to flood, but I found many of them back because of these long stakes. So that's what I like to use. These these sets are simple. You need no bait or anything really. You can see this obvious channel right here that he's running or that he's hoping to use. Um, not saying that he's not going to get out of the bank and chew on some trees and whatever, but sooner or later he's going to run this channel back to open water. It's just their nature, they're quicker, they're safer in the water, and that's what they're going to use. You can see not that deep right here. Pretty deep or deeper right here where he's running this channel right here. All right, in our state, anything over a 120 has to be set completely under the water. So check your state regulations. Um, we're gonna make sure this is all the way underwater. Where I tried to set it up here, it didn't quite go all the way underwater, but that's just fine because it turns to deeper water here actually. We still got a good point here and the trap actually just goes completely under the water. So we're gonna set it about right like that I like to take a big enough stick just to fit inside the springs and I'm gonna shove it down in the dirt this just keeps get you a stick that's sturdy not rotten like I just did Use this one And the reason for this is you don't want your trap to, to move or wiggle. Let's take it good on that side. Find me a good stick here you don't want to use a fresh cut green stick because most of the time the beaver may try to feed on it or chew on it um, grab you an older stick or even just a regular beaver stick sure the safeties are off. All right, now there's very little movement to our trap. It's not moving much, and that's what you want. That way when the beaver comes to swim through it, there's not a whole lot of uh, give to it, or it doesn't fall over. Uh, we're going to take here, grab one of our stakes, find the circle of the trap, put one through this circle. I'm going to take the other one. And stick it through the other circle. You can tell how soft the ground is. I'm able to push these in, and that's why I make these long. So, there we got the trap set in the channel. Now we're going to do a little more blocking around there just to, to make sure we get in where we want here. Just stick a couple logs in here. Just to kind of make this the only, only way he can come. Now we got those in there. You can obviously tell this is the only channel. What we're going
going to do here, since our trap has to be set all the way underwater, we're going to want him to dive under it. He might be swimming up on top of the water, and whenever he gets to this, he's going to dive under it. And when he does, he's going to dive right into this trap. So we're going to take not a very big stick, a littler stick here. This one's broke. Just big enough. And we're going to weave it between our stakes and sticks here, just like that. And so that's just enough to make him want to dive under there. And when he does, he's going to dive right through that trap. And it's not going to be such a good day for a beaver. So we're going to get out of here. We got this trap set. It ought to be ought to be good we might set a couple more up we may not because i believe in this trap that uh sooner or later there will be a beaver in here it's a really hot spot you can actually you probably can't see it on the camera but there is a pretty good run up through here where the beaver's running every time he comes through and it's wearing out a channel in this ditch so ought to be a good set and can't wait to come check it all right here we are it's only been a day and we already got our first beaver here. We already took him out of the trap. He's dried off a little bit. We reset the trap because I know there's more than one beaver building that dam. Um, we didn't show you all the beaver in the trap because YouTube is a bunch of liberals and doesn't like that kind of stuff. So we, uh, we kind of avoided that today. We are already got the beaver out though. We reset the trap and uh, should be good. We reset it the same way. Uh, we had a good good catch right behind the head on this beaver. Killed him instantly. Um, so we got the trap reset and uh, we'll keep running it and hopefully hopefully pull a couple more out here. This pretty good sized beaver. Um, not my biggest, but he's a he's definitely a a good sized beaver. He doesn't have any no fighting marks or scars in his tail. Pretty good size, so. We'll, uh, we're hoping to catch some more. Good day out on the line so far. It's fun whenever, whenever it all comes together. We're gonna get him skinned out and hopefully, hopefully catch some more.